and welcome to interior and exterior angles of polygons. Um, just before we start, a quick reminder that there is a notes chapter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you'll be able to work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so what we have here are a series of polygons. Now, just to state, a polygon is any shape where all of the sides are straight. Um, and so a triangle is a three-sided polygon, a quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon, a pentagon, five-sided uh, uh, polygon, and so on. Polygon is a general word for any uh, shape with all straight sides. And we're going to look today at the interior angles. So we're going to look at the angles on the inside of that shape and what they must add up to. Now, we should already know the first couple. We should know that the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees and that the angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. But I want to show you, first of all, why the angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 and it comes from triangles. If I were to take a single point on this quadrilateral and draw, draw a line in, what I can do is form two triangles. Two triangles form the quadrilateral. And therefore, what we've actually done is two times 180 in order to get the interior angles. So with a pentagon, with a five-sided shape, I want to do the same. I want to take a single point and draw lines in two other corners and see how many triangles I form. Well there are in this case three triangles and therefore I need to do three times 180 to find the interior angles and if I do that I get 540 degrees and so a pentagon includes 540 degrees in, on the interior. With the hexagon exactly the same process from a single point one line two lines three lines i've produced um, four triangles this time and so because it's four triangles i'm going to do four times 180 and if i do four times 180 i get 720 degrees so the angles in a hexagon must add up to 720. a heptagon has seven sides and all I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw in each of my lines again in order to form some triangles. How many triangles does it take to create a heptagon? Well that is five and so for a heptagon I'm going to do five times 180 and if I do five times 180 I get 900 degrees. So the interior angles of a heptagon will be 900 degrees. Now, in maths, we always like a general rule. How can we find uh, find an answer in any situation that we might find ourselves? Well, if we have a look here at um, what we've been doing. So in a triangle, we did one times 180 because there was only one triangle. Then we did two times 180 for a quadrilateral, three times 180 for a pentagon, and so on. So each time, what we've done is we've gone up by one triangle so every time we add a side we have an extra triangle but how can we work out what that number is that we're going to multiply by 180 well i want to just compare the number of sides with the number of triangles so there were three sides one triangle four sides two triangles five sides three triangles six sides four triangles seven sides five triangles. What is the connection? Well, all we've done is we've subtracted two. So with the number of sides, we've taken two away and we get the number of triangles. And so we have a general rule that we can actually use. If we want to know the sum of the interior angles of any side, uh, any number of sides of the shape, well, we do N, take away two, times 180 and n is just the number of sides and so i can use that to find any shape if i had a 12 sided shape well that would be 12 take away 2 multiply by 180 and so that 12 sided shape will be 10 
times 180, 1,800 degrees. And so next we're going to look at the exterior angles of a polygon. Um, and in this case we're looking at regular polygons. Um, so a regular polygon uh, being any shape where all of the sides are straight and they are all the same length. Um, and so we're going to begin with the Pentagon, uh, which is the building in, uh, in Washington DC. And we're going to take a walk around that building. So we're going to begin right here at the front door and we're going to walk all the way around the building and see what happens. So first of all, we would have to walk straight forwards. And when we got to the end of the building, um, at this point, we would need to turn around in order to keep walking in this direction. So we'd walk straight and then turn and we would keep going. So we do the same again. We walk straight forwards, get to the end of the building and turn around, walk straight forwards and turn, walk straight forwards and turn, and walk straight forwards and turn. And we would end up back where we started. Now, in total, what have we actually done there? Well, as we walked all the way around that building, we have done a full turn. So we have traveled 360 degrees in total as we walked around that building. But because this is a regular shape, we've made the same little turn every single time. And so that 360 degrees that we have traveled, so 360 in total, we split into five equal pieces. So we did 360 divided by five. So this angle that we turned each time, well, 360 divided by five is 72 degrees. And so every single time we must have turned 72 degrees as we walked around that building. And so the exterior angle of a regular polygon, well, that has come from 360 divided by the number of sides. And so that is a general rule that we can use, that the exterior angle of a regular polygon is 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. So we're going to now use those two formulas that we've just uh, just worked out in order to see if we can find um, how many sides a certain shape must have if we are told some information about it. And so in this case, the very first thing that we have, this is the exterior angle of the polygon. It's got a, an exterior angle of 24 degrees. And so the first thing that I want to write here is my formula that I must be using. So I'm looking at the exterior angle and the exterior angle is 360 divided by n, the number of sides. And so, if this is an, uh, if the exterior angle is actually 24, then that is 360 divided by something. And so, how am I going to work out what that something is? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by n, because this is an equation that I'm trying to solve. And so if I divide, uh, multiply by n, I get 24n equals 360. But I want n all on its own. And so I'm now going to divide by 24. If I divide by 24, I get that n is 360 over 24. And this is then just a, um, a fraction which I need to simplify, not, or actually a division I need to do. So 360 divided by 24. I could half both of those, it'd be 180 over 12. And I could half both of those, it'd be 90 over 6. Now that, we could go even further, 90 over 6. Well, we could divide both of those by 3. It'd be 30 over 2. And now that we've got to a nice small fraction, we can actually work that out quite easy. 30 divided by 2, well, n must be 15. This must be a 15-sided shape. In the next one, we have um, a, a regular polygon again, but the interior angle here is 140. Now, that is only one of the interior angles. It is not the sum of the interior angles, just one of them. And therefore, what I can actually work out is what the exterior angle must be because the interior angle and the exterior angle must add up to 180 degrees because this is a straight line. And so this exterior angle 
must be 40 degrees. And so in just the same way as we did in the previous one, I can now say that the exterior angle is 360 divided by n. And so in this case, our exterior angle is 40. So 360 divided by something makes 40. And so that means that n is 360 over 40. And 360 over 40, well, that is 36 over 4, if I divide by uh, 10 in both cases, and 36 divided by 4 is 9. And so this is a 9-sided shape. The last question is about the interior angles. And so the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 2,520 degrees. How many sides does it have? Now, again, in this case, we have a rule. We know that the sum of the interior angles is n take away 2 times 180. And so if we know that the total is 2520, and that is n take away 2 times 180, well, what we need to do is we need to solve this in order to find n. So I'm going to divide by 180 on both sides. So 2520 over 180 must equal n take away 2. So I'm going to do this one without a calculator. So first thing I'm going to do is divide by um, 10. It's give me 252 over 18. And then if I actually, uh, if I just half both of these numbers, well, that's going to give me 126 over 9. And then um, all I want to do here is work out what 126 over 9 would be. So let's just do a division. So 9 goes into 1 0 times, 9 goes into 12 once with 3 left over, and 9 goes into 36 4 times. And so this is 14. 14 is n take away 2. So we've just got one last stage left to find the number of sides that the shape has. I will need to add 2. And so this shape must have 16 sides. And we're going to end with the exam question. It came from the Edexcel paper in June 2017, and it was on both the foundation and higher paper 3. Um, and so it tells us in the diagram, AB, BC, and CD are three sides of a regular polygon. Now that is an important word, regular. They're telling us that so that we know that all of the sides are the same length in that shape and all of the angles in that shape are the same size. Show that polygon P is a hexagon. You must show your working. So in this case, we've been told that we have a square and another square. So the very first thing that I want to be thinking about here is what do I know about a square? Well, I know that in a square, the angles are 90 degrees. And that is going to be very helpful in this question. So we know that each of those is uh, 90 degrees. We then have a regular 12-sided polygon. So what I want to know is if I had a 12-sided polygon, what would this angle on the inside be? Now we have a couple of ways that we could do this. We could think about the sum of the interior angles um, in order to do that, or we could also think if this is um, a regular polygon, I can think about exterior angles. And I would always try and use exterior angles if I can, because um, the exterior angle rule is always just the same, 360 divided by the number of sides. And so 360 divided by 12, well, that would be, if I do it as a fraction here instead, so 360 over 12, um, well, that is going to be um, 180 over 6. It's going to be um, 90 over 3 it's going to be 30 degrees. And so this angle here must be 30. If I know the exterior angle, then I can work out the interior angle because the interior angle must make 180 degrees uh, with that angle. So 180 take away 30 is 150 degrees. 
And so now, if we have a look at this diagram, I can say at this stage that this angle here is 150 degrees, that this angle is 90 degrees, and this angle, well, it must make up 360 degrees in total. So 90 plus 150 is 240. 360 take away 240 is 120. And so this angle here must be 120 degrees. Now the question asked us to show that polygon P is a hexagon. And so for, uh, for us to do that, we need to show why that 120 degrees relates to a hexagon. Well, if I want to find the exterior angle of a hexagon, I would do 360 divided by 6, and so that would be 60 degrees. That would be the exterior angle, and therefore the interior angle of a hexagon, well that would be 180 take away 60, 120 degrees. And because these two values match, we have shown that this must be a regular hexagon.